Johannes Kepler was born in 1571 in Wilderstadt, Germany. He is an astronomer, astrologer, and mathematician. Kepler had outstanding academic abilities, which granted him a scholarship from the Duke of Württemberg, where he was able to attend school at the University of Tübingen in 1587. There, he was taught mathematics and astronomy by Michael Maslin, one of the few professors that accepted Copernicus's ideas that planets revolved around the sun and that the Earth was not the center of the solar system. Kepler also believed in the Copernican theory and was set out to prove it. This is where his fascination for astronomy sparked. Kepler made many discoveries throughout his lifetime, but his greatest contribution to science was his laws of planetary motion. His laws can be broken down into three empirical relationships that describe the motion of planets. Let's break it down. Kepler's very first law broke the Copernican model and states that all planets move in elliptical orbits, with the sun at one focus of the ellipse. An ellipse has two focuses. As shown in this diagram, the sun is always at one foci, with a planet moving along the elliptical path. Kepler's first law published in 1609 in his book Astronomia Nova. So just as a reminder, for centuries during Kepler's time, the belief that planets moved in perfect circles was of extreme importance in religious beliefs and it was also universally accepted. Kepler wasn't intending to study planetary motion in general. He was mainly interested in finding the mathematical model for Mars and its motion. This law was found with Tycho Brahe's observation of the planet Mars. From Brahe's observations and measurements, he discovered that Mars did not move in a perfect circle around the Sun. He discovered that instead, Mars followed an elliptical path around the Sun, and so do all planets. Wow, this is a deceptively simple law that took Kepler almost five years to discover. The distance the planet moves in a period of time makes a triangle with the sun. For example, when the planet is over on this side near the sun, the distance it moves in a month is quite large and it forms this triangle. When the planet is over on this side farther from the sun, the distance is a lot less and it makes this triangle. But what Kepler's second law states is that the area of both triangles are actually the same. This means that planets move faster near the sun and slower farther away. Kepler's third law is the law of period. All of Kepler's laws were developed because of the observations Tycho Brahe made. Kepler's third law is about the planet's period and the radiuses. Kepler noticed that the period of the planet varied directly to the radius of the planet from the sun. For example, take Earth, where t is the period and r is equal to the semi-major axis. If we choose our units correctly, like t is in Earth years and r is in astronomical units, we get that t squared is equal to r cubed. Tycho Brahe that was used by Kepler was brought his observations of Mars. Kepler used these observations during his research on the planet, and Mars happens to be the planet with the most elliptic orbit. This would have caused him some difficulty at the time because the main consensus among the people living at this time was that the orbits of the planets were perfectly circular. This contradicts Brahe's observations and Kepler's map, which disprove this theory. Laws were at first not accepted by major figures in the scientific community at the time, such as Galileo and René Descartes, as they objected the use of physics and astronomy. Another interesting thing about Kepler is that he provided a new and correct way of how a vision occurs. He developed an explanation for this behavior of light. Isaac Newton later used Kepler's third law to provide a more general explanation of the motions of two bodies orbiting around each other. Newton did this through the development of Newton's laws of motion and Newton's universal law of gravitation. It is without a doubt that Kepler made a huge contribution to the history of cosmology. Unfortunately, he lived a life of great tragedy. He was a very ill child. Three of his six children died during their childhood, as well as his wife passing away due to health issues. Finally, his mother was accused of witchcraft. Kepler made many other scientific contributions above and beyond his three laws of planetary motion. These included a new star, analyzing how the human eye works, 
and making improvements to the telescope. Kepler made a tremendous contribution to the field of astronomy and will never be forgotten for his work in science.